think Tim's got a problem. Come on, come on, Tim. Come on, come on. I'm trying to pop my bars out of the mould. Be gentle, Tim. Let's go, Tim. The cremo doesn't seem to be set enough. Maybe I added my gelatin too late. Oh, how, how they looking? I'm just wondering whether it needs longer in the... What do you reckon, Shannon? This point of the tongue, you know, you need to make a decision. Yeah. Because you've taken from this edge, yeah? Yeah. So that's going to be more frozen okay. than the centre. So if that's not ready, they're definitely okay. not ready. I can't give up. I'll get them back in the blast chiller, give them as long as I can. If that's what needs to happen, that's what's got to happen. It's time to get these moulds out. Let's go, Ben. Come on. Just keep moving quickly. Oh, Ben, that looks so beautiful. Yeah, yeah it's oh. perfect. Tiny is your bike, mate. You look great. Oh, I... I'm amazingly surprised that these work so well. Yeah, these are these are looking good, so I'm pretty happy. I have no choice right now. Although my moulds haven't fully defrosted, I have to put the sponge in and back into that blast chiller. I'm pressing the sponge down into the moulds and there is a bit of resistance there, but I'm just forcing it down because I'm so pushed for time. Although I've got my sponge into the mould, bush, bush, bush. I have absolutely no idea if that's enough time to freeze it. Good on you, Larry. He guaranteed us we would stuff up the first two, so... Um, Just have fun. Go wild. <laughs> I'm really excited for this next part. I love working with these spray guns. Any spaghettis? <laughs> I'm spraying away and it's actually really technical. Cool, there. Oh, that's smells beautiful. amazing. They're looking like shirts. They're looking really good. All those years of renovating have come in handy, hey? Happy? Looking good? I think it's looking good. Spraying the chocolate onto the mould and yeah, I'm actually really happy. You know, some bits have those perfect little chocolate bubbles, so I'm pretty happy with it. Guys, don't slow down. 20 minutes to go, yeah? Come on, let's go. Come on, come on. 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 It's time now to unravel my chocolate twirls. Magically, it just starts to separate. Yes. Come on. And it actually has worked out for me. Oh, yes. Yeah. You need one, right? That's, that's beautiful. Woo! Nice there. Yeah. I'm so relieved that those little suckers worked. <laughs> I was so scared. Now I just got to break them, right? I carefully take off the sticky tape, and I've got these beautiful chocolate ribbons. I didn't think I could do that. Yes, you know. As soon as I start unmoulding, I see some bits crack. It's a bit def deflating, but I've still got something there. You've got 12 minutes to go. I've got no choice. I've got to get my bars out. I've got to get them cocoa sprayed, or I'm going to have nothing to serve. I start to unmould them. Yeah, nah. The cremo's still not set. I'm devastated but I've, I've got no choice. OK, I've got to go. I've got to play it up. Well, don't run, mate. Don't run. OK. Uh, I've got to get these bars sprayed no matter what. Come on, Larry. Get your shit together, girlfriend. Oh. I'm down to the wire. I'm so nervous. My hands are shaking. Come on, thank you very much. I'm feeling so much pressure. Come on, Larissa. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on. Quick, 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 quick. Yep. Beautiful. I have one bar that's come out cleanly, but I know that I need at least three more as a backup. See so if you got one more other. Huh? I come to take my second bar out of the mould. Oh. Oh. Pull it. It's breaking apart. Keep it together. Come on. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. Third bar. Oh. Careful, careful. It's worse than the second one. Nah, it's not, um, it's not firm enough. There is no hope for the rest of the bars in those moulds. I've got literally, like, one. I'm feeling so gutted at the moment. I only have one bar to work with. I'm a bit worried, Abby. Perfection! Five minutes, come on! Five minutes, guys, come on, you've got this. I have to get this onto the plate without touching it. I'm following exactly what Shannon told me to do. And it's perfect. Yes. Nice, man. Good work, mate. Well done. Two minutes to go. Come on. Let's go. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on, Come on. 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 Come on
Not happy with my bar, but let's focus on the other elements and just make this dish as beautiful as I can. I've piped the purees on. Come on, Tim. Bring it on, guys. Bring it on. Get the macerated strawberries on. Sorbet's ready to go. I'll plate that up in front of the judges. Final touches. One minute to go. I have to really push and I have to be very delicate. I'm scared that I'm going to drop it on the plate, but I just go very slowly. It hits the plate perfectly. Yeah. Putting the Chantilly on the bar, I'm praying that I'm going to make it in time. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. I'm really proud of you guys. You had got some amazing resolve. You never gave up. Well done. I think that was a great challenge. I honestly thought, Shannon, that, that at least a couple of them were going to fall over. So you pleased yeah. that you got yeah. four dishes that are pretty close? Yeah, I'm really uh, excited for the guys. I'm really, really happy with what they've done. It was a difficult challenge. Let's get the first dish in. I'm really proud to present this because it's a beautiful looking dish and I think it's really close to Shannon's. I feel like I've done well, but you just never know in these situations. I love that smile on your face. <laughs> is that, what's, what, what is that, a smile? What's, oh, that, what, that's what? pride. That's what that is, that's pride, yeah. I'm sure you've done some really difficult things in your life. Yeah. Where does this I sit? have. Oh, look, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? And every time I do a cook in this kitchen, I just, I feel stronger and I feel better and I feel like I've achieved something every single time and it's such an exhilarating feeling. It's so much more to me than just cooking. I just love it so much and I want to stay here so badly. Good stuff. Time to finish the dish off and then we'll toast. Well done, Steph. Thank you. You must be proud. I am. Yeah, well done. All taste now. Thank you. Thank you. Well Enjoy. done, Steph. Thanks very much. That is absolutely incredible. It's literally identical. Yeah, yeah. it's an amazing effort, that's for sure. Does it taste as good? That's the big question. Shannon, what do you think? Um, I think it's really a fantastic effort. The way it's executed, the sharp corners, the cocoa spray for me is the most impressive thing about how Steph finished this dish. It's very light, very bright, very early. Um, the fruit side of it's great. It's an incredible effort. What I'm getting is really fruity passion fruit, a sponge that's cooked properly, uh, a mousse that's light, a sorbet that's, that's, that's well executed as well. And what I'm getting is really um, like solid flavour of passion fruit, which is absolutely delicious. Like it's really good and a very, very pretty dessert. And for somebody that hasn't had a recipe, I challenge a lot of chefs to be able to really produce a, a dish that, that yeah. well from memory. And I think this is a really good version. Right, great start. Let's get the next dish in. I can't believe that I've actually achieved this dish. I mean, I've made it without a recipe. My biggest concern is my bar. I just feel like it's not up to scratch and that could be the thing that sends me home. How are you, Tim? I'm good. Um, I'm nervous. My 
heart's beating moving miles, miles an hour at the moment, but um, it was hectic, especially those last 15 minutes for me. Who do you speak to when you, when you get to phone home? Who do you, who's the person you want to speak to first? Uh, my, my wife, Abby. She's the love of my life and yeah, she's the one I always call. And um, I tell her that I'm learning heaps and yeah, I miss her. Um, of course, that, that's normal, but she's so supportive of what I'm doing and having her support um, means the world to me and that she knows that this is, this is my dream and I'm just so happy to be here. What are you most worried about in there then? I'm worried about obviously the cremo that didn't set. My sponges, I forgot to put the Grand Monnier on all of them until until the last minute. So I, there was only a few with it on and in the mad rush at the end, I'm just hoping that that was one of the sponges that had the Grand Monnier. Well, Tim, let's hope your um, first time in black isn't your last. Let's play the dish up. How do you feel? I mean, yeah, it's obviously not as refined as Shannon's, but everything ba- everything's in the right place. <laughs> not not bad for a bloke who didn't have recipe. Not bad at all. Yeah. Right, we'll taste. All right. Thank you. Thanks very much, boys. Thanks, Thanks well, Shannon. Good well appreciate it. Well done, man. It's, it's a great effort. Tim, she was really rushing. So to be able to push through that and, uh, and not give up, you've got to give them full credit. It's just yeah. an amazing effort. And Tim's chocolate work is actually quite good. What a snap. Yeah. Beauty, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh. Cremo, the cremo is too soft. I can't pick up any Grand Manier. It's dry. And it's interesting that we've had dishes that maybe have, been, have a, issues of balance, but, but sadly, this dish is totally out of kilter. Well, I think, I think it's not even about balance, Matt. There's a problem with yeah. ratios. Look, like, look at that. It's like, yeah. you know? Too much gum. Yeah, and that's just way too much stabiliser, not enough gelatine maybe in the cremo. I think there's just a lot of issues with the actual recipe that he's, you know, put in his head. His chocolate work is very good. Yeah. I think one of the best out of the lot. That's right, George. Yeah, but but I think what's interesting though is, is this is the dish I think you'd expect to get if you give amateur cooks a demonstration and get them to remember recipes. These, these, this is the sort of flaws you expect. You expect to find yeah, it. Yeah, of course. You know, I think what's amazing is that Tim's Dish puts the, the success of the other three into perspective, and it shows you what a great job that Steph and Rissa and Ben have done. So you really hit an nail on the head there as well. 